Hi, friends. Are you having a tough time getting your business found in Google Maps? Sometimes, even if you have the proper service areas, you have the proper, you know, uh, products and services and details and information, it comes down to one key thing, and that is your category. If you have the wrong category, you may simply just be invisible because nobody can find you because you're not listed in the category that they're looking for. So by the time you're done watching this video, I'm going to share with you how you can look at your category, how to potentially change your category, and how to add additional categories so that way your business can get found in local SEO and your Google My Business can show up better in Google Maps. So that way you can get more leads, give out more quotes, and ultimately make more money. Stay tuned. Digital marketing for DIYers. Hey friends, thank you so much for joining me. I am Webmaster Chris Heidelbaugh and you're watching the Digital Marketing for DIYers show. This is where I help motivated individuals with web design, SEO, social media, topics like this, we're, we're talking about Google My Business, and simply I help motivated individuals take control of their online success. So if that sounds like you, please consider subscribing. Just hit the little subscribe button underneath this video and hit the bell notification. That way you never miss a future episode. Okay, so the topic of today's video is we're talking about the category selection for your Google My Business. Now let's give a little background behind this. And that is, if you're trying to get found on Google Maps, okay, so you have Google Ads or Google Local Services, and then you have Google Maps, and then you have local SEO, organic SEO, the search engine results, but you never find yourself in Google Maps, right? You, you are just never there. Now, you have the proper service areas. And, and if this, and if you need help optimizing your Google My Business and you need a tutorial to you know, optimize your Google My Business, I have a playlist. I will link it in the description of this video so you can check out other videos so you can look at how to hide your address if you need to, service areas, how to optimize your Google My Business course altogether. But if you've done the rest of it, Google's always changing things. They're giving us more settings um, they're just adding more stuff for us. And sometimes that's also adding new categories, okay? So I see this common where, you know, say like an attorney, okay? An attorney may have been considered just an attorney a few years back, but now we have multiple other options as well. Just like your business, if you're an autom in an automotive business, now there might be additional categories that you can show up in. So if somebody's looking for, you know, paintless dent repair, it may not have been there many years ago, but now it is. If it was something where you were a bankruptcy attorney years ago, it may not have been there, but now it is. Just like medical, professional, uh, all types of different categories. So if it's been a minute since you've gone to your Google My Business to optimize your page, it might be time for you to do that. Log in, check out this stuff. So again, if you're feeling like you're invisible, there's multiple factors involved. But again, a category is going to really help uh, your business get found. So let's jump over to the computer and I'm going to show you how to look at your category and how to go through some of the options that you have. So let's go. Okay, so here we are on a Google My Business page. And if you don't know how to get here, just go to your browser and type in Google My Business. And then you can log in with your Gmail account. Um, if you are already logged in and that's how you kind of search the web, you know, surf the web, whatever. Um, there's these little dots, these nine little dots up in the right-hand corner. It says Google Apps. Click on this and click on the little blue building that says My Business. And you're going to come to something like this, okay? So uh, this is going to be your homepage. So you're probably going to get something more like this, okay? You're going to click on Info. And then from here, you're going to see right here. Okay. So this is just a company, um, you know, kind of a, a company that I work with and they, the electrician SEO is an internet marketing service. Okay. But if you were an attorney, your name would be here, whatever your company is, you could rent out dumpsters. You could be a doctor, an attorney, a concrete company, whatever you are, your company name is going to be here. The next thing is your category. So if we click on this, we can see this company shows up for internet marketing service. That's the primary category. So what is your primary category? 
If you could label yourself one thing, what would that be? Okay. If you were in construction, that might be a contractor. So start putting in CON. Okay, there's a contractor. Perfect. Okay. A lot of companies may only have one category and that's it. So unless somebody's searching for that category or they're asking for something that you would be defined by that category, you may never get found. Okay. So just like a perfect example is an attorney. So if we do attorney. Okay. There is. Uh, let me find here. So we got attorney. Okay. So if we look in here, we have patent attorney, tax attorney, trial attorney, civil law attorney, insurance attorney, family law attorney, and it goes on and on and on, right? And so these are a, a major deal. So if you, you know, back in the day, you might have been a different category, but now you might say, well, yeah, no, I'm actually a bankruptcy attorney or I am uh, a divorce attorney or divorce lawyer. If I do divorce uh, lawyer, lawyer there, got a little twang with my voice here, but you know, I say divorce lawyer, but it's like, yeah. So, so then you would have that. So then you would do an ad, another category where this might be bankruptcy attorney. Okay. Another one could be law firm. Okay. Another one just could be lawyer. Okay. So now whatever your primary category is, you also have the potential to show up for a bankruptcy attorney, law firm, or lawyer. And then we click apply. Typically it says it could take up to three days. I usually see like within like a couple of minutes, if you refresh, it's good. Okay. So make sure you have multiple ones. And typically I think that I'm not sure the exact number at this, this moment. I've seen like five, sometimes, you know, I've seen seven or 10. Um, so you can just kind of fill them out and that works for you. So what if you're like, Chris, I have no idea, like what type of categories are available. Okay. You might say everything I type in, it doesn't show up. Well, if you go to here and, and then we'll like put in something else, let's do Dallas, um, Dallas dentists. Okay. So we can see what are some of the comments. So we have dental clinic is a category. Dentist, dentist. Let's look at some more. Okay. So dentist, dentist, dental, dental clinic, dentist, cosmetic. Okay. Let's, let's see what this says. So this says their category. Okay, so it says something to do with cosmetics. I'm gonna I'm gonna assume it says cosmetic dentistry. Dentist, dentist, dental clinic. Okay, yeah, cosmetic dentist. Okay. So it's gonna say cosmetic dentist. So basically again, so we would go to our category. Let's type in dentist. Okay, there's our first one. But then you see we have cosmetic dentist, pediatric dentist, dental insurance agent. Dental hygienist, dental implants, dental implants, dental school, dental clinic. And you can just choose what it is that you want. So basically, you can go through, pick your primary category of who you are. And then if you're like, man, my competition, man, it burns me that they get found for so many other options. Just look through. Look through Google My Business and find other categories. And what we're looking at is this little word next to it. This one says cosmetic dentist. This one says dentist. I'm not picking on anybody, you know, necessarily. I'm just showing you kind of how this works. So let's do this with a different idea. Let's do uh, auto repair. Okay. So we got tires. We got auto repair, auto repair shop. Auto repair shop. Okay. A lot of auto repair. Okay. So let's do... Uh, Let's do paint. Okay, we have painting, paint store, paint store, paint store. Okay. And you might say, well, Chris, I'm not a paint store. Great. Well, we'll, we'll find maybe it's a contractor. Maybe, you know, it's let's do painters. Let's see what that comes up as. We have painter, 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 painter. Okay. So you can see. You know, just because there's paint, paint may it sound like this paint store where we want to maybe a painter. But again, if you go in here and you change your categories, I believe that you have a better shot because now when somebody is searching for you in your service area, potentially at your location, 
and they mention something that would fall under the category of your category, again, if they're like if they're looking for a painter, a paint, you know, painter for their home, and it shows your category as a painter, you're going to show up. If it's something about, uh, you know, some sort of legal matter, and that legal matter matches up with that category, you're going to show up. If it's something to do with a health need, and it matches up to that category, you're going to show up. And that is the punchline. Well, friends, I do hope that helps. And I know it seems so simple, but I can't tell you. I mean, again, nine out of 10 Google My Business profiles I work with typically only has one category. So go ahead and spread it out. Get, you know, three to five or so different categories that really um, showcases what it is that you do. I mean, if you're a dentist, but you also do a dental implants for, for, just put it on there, you know, even cosmetic dentistry. If you're an attorney and you also deal with other practices, you know, do that, you know, other, uh, uh, you know, areas of law and specializations, go ahead and do that as well. So it's important to really kind of get these things out there. And so sometimes when a client comes to me and they're like, Chris, I'm not getting found in Google My Business. We, we just start from the top and we go through. We make sure that their name is right. We make sure that their category is right. We make sure that their service areas are right. We make sure that, you know, all these check marks, you know, are taken care of. Do they have Google reviews? Um, you know, a whole bunch of different items. But again, categories are a major thing. So question of the day. Did you have one category? Did you have multiple categories? Were you shocked at what category you're listed for? You're like, Wow, like I am not an auto repair store. I am an auto repair shop, right? So when you look at your your categories, were you shocked by something that you saw? Were you able to add more? Um, you know, just tell me about your experience. Like what, what worked for you? Maybe a tip you have might help somebody else too. So again, friends, I'm Webmaster Chris Heidelbaum. Thank you so much for watching this video. If I can help you with anything, please don't hesitate to get a hold of me. Uh, you know, give a like you know, give a thumbs up and, uh, you know, leave a comment if you have any questions. I'd love to be able to serve you. So until next video, I do hope that you find success online, offline, and in your life. God bless.